gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and... After spending a few days with the Huawei MatePad Edge, I finally figured out exactly who this device is meant for, and how it really compares to Microsoft's 2-in-1 Surface tablets. The big question is, does this Harmony OS 2-in-1 actually behave like a real 2-in-1? A quick shout out to my tech partner from China for sharing this video. A big thank you for making this possible. Hey everyone, it's Mickey from Tech Makey. If you love staying updated with the latest gadgets, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting tech content. The MatePad Edge weighs just 780 grams and measures only 0.85 millimeters thick. That's lighter and slimmer than the 13-inch Surface Pro. The Mate 70 Air is already super thin, yet the MatePad Edge is only a touch thicker and it still packs dual fans inside. Aside from the hinge that lets you open and close it, the entire body is made from a single piece of metal paired with a floating keyboard. So when you use it as a 14.2 inch laptop, the total weight is 1.3 kilograms, lighter than plenty of 14 inch ultrabooks out there. That's why this Harmony OS 2-in-1 offers two modes and three different forms. In computer mode, you can switch to tablet mode with a simple four-finger swipe, a key combination, or a single tap in the control center. Even the four-finger gesture on the touchpad feels polished. Swipe halfway, pause, swipe again, and the animation transitions beautifully. Once you're in tablet mode, the icons enlarge and the interface layout becomes identical to a MatePad. Touch interaction becomes the priority. Swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold for multitasking, use split screen, panoramic multi-window, floating windows, all the typical tablet interactions are here. Now look at the Surface Pro. That tablet mode basically just makes the dock icons a little bigger while the home screen stays the same. That's it, open an app, double tap, okay, full screen. Try side swiping to go back, nope. The left side doesn't work right either. Swipe up to return home. Wait, it opens the app drawer instead. Swipe down, it becomes a floating window. Three finger swipe up for multitasking down to go home. This isn't a tablet, this is Windows pretending to be one. Even split screen behaves like Windows and many Android apps installed through their engine can't split screen at all. On the MatePad Edge, free multi-window lets you resize apps freely and the layout adapts smoothly. Five columns, four, three, two, depending on the window size. That's how a tablet should behave. Windows, on the other hand, doesn't dynamically adjust app layouts from small to large or vice versa. It's trying to run Android apps on a system they weren't designed for. No wonder the experience feels clunky, but this is where Harmony OS shines. This is what proper tablet interaction looks like. And for a 14.2 inch tablet, this design makes total sense. All four bezels are equally thin at just 4.1 millimeters. Compare that with the iPad Pro, or the Surface Pro, which even has mismatched bezels top and bottom. Huawei not only keeps the bezels slim, but also avoids any punch holes or notches. Instead, they tuck a 32 megapixel front camera into the frame using a floating design. Perfect execution. A tablet form factor gives you huge flexibility, but it needs more than just a flexible body. With the MatePad Edge, you can pair it with the M Pencil and take notes in Huawei Notes just like you would on an iPad Pro. It works great outdoors too. This thing is built for creativity. First, you get continuous frame coloring. After drawing a bunch of animation frames, you just pick one frame to color. Turn on the animation mode, tap to choose the reference frame, select all, and the system helps fill in the colors. Choose which results to keep, select all, and suddenly the little dog you drew is bouncing on its pink ball in full color. There's also a gravity fluid brush. Pick the brush, enable the gravity feature, draw a dot, tilt the tablet, and watch the color flow. This side gets lighter, this side turns into a deeper pink. Try tilting it down. See how the gradient shifts? The paint flows in whatever direction you tilt the device. There's even boundary deposition. And if you switch to diffusion mode, you get a softer, subtle spread. The drawing experience is already fantastic for a two-in-one device, and Harmony OS adds these unexpected creative tools on top of it. And of course, you can lie on the sofa and scroll through TikTok on a huge display. It feels amazing. While ordering food, booking plane tickets, calling a ride, or working at your desk, you can keep a live stream running in a small window. Even the lock screen supports card-style widgets. And yes, you can play Genshin Impact, Honor of Kings, 
PUBG Mobile, League of Legends Mobile, and lots of other games. Anything that works on a Harmony OS tablet works the same way on the MatePad Edge. The Surface Pro, on the other hand, runs Android apps through a cross-platform engine. Because Android and Windows naturally don't play well together, apps tend to lag, freeze, and drop frames frequently. Watching TikTok on the Surface Pro is a struggle. Scroll a few times and you'll see what I mean. Here's a fun test. In tablet mode, open five apps one after another. Ready? Go. Huawei launches all five smoothly. Meanwhile, the Surface Pro finally loads the second TikTok app while Huawei is already on its second round. Surface can only open three apps at once. For a tablet experience, that's just embarrassing. And the biggest issue? Only a tiny handful of apps are actually available, maybe some travel apps or elay.me, and only the merchant version. No Taobao, no Didi, basically none of the everyday apps you actually need. Most apps are simply not adapted yet. So, when you look at the list of compatible apps, well, let's just say it's not impressive. So yeah, the Surface Pro's tablet mode isn't just bad, it's practically unusable. Meanwhile, the MatePad Edge shows exactly how a tablet should behave. That's the real advantage of Harmony OS. Now let's talk about the second form, the direct lit mode. I love using the MatePad Edge with its big 14.2 inch display in this setup. The combination of the large screen with the M Pencil Pro gives you this feeling of full control. Like you always know what you're planning and drawing. It's something you only appreciate once you try it. This is why I enjoy sitting in the back row of a lecture or meeting, flipping open the small tray table and reading on this massive screen. The aluminum stand can adjust freely from 0 to 90 degrees, so you can angle it however you like. No matter how you position it, reading and working feels effortless. For watching shows, this setup is incredible. And because the screen is direct lit, even outdoor reflections don't bother it much. It handles all kinds of lighting conditions, and the thin bezels make watching videos feel really immersive. Plus, it packs six speakers. Here's a neat detail. When you connect Clip2 headphones, turn on Mobile Atmos, and activate sound effects in your video app, something cool happens. The MatePad Edge plays the left, center, and right channels, while the headphones handle the surround and bass channels. The result is a surprisingly quiet, immersive experience. But here's where things get even more surprising. Once you attach the rotary keyboard, open Honor of Kings and hit Control shift i to activate the mapping switch in the touch settings. Can you feel that? Wow! You can actually play Honor of Kings using the keyboard. Your first skill becomes Q, the second skill is W, and your ultimate is R. QQ Speed works too, and plenty of other games already support this setup, with more being optimized. Playing mobile games with a keyboard feels ridiculously good. And this is where the third form comes in, PC mode. Attach the keyboard, switch modes, and the device turns into a productivity-focused machine. Let's start with typing. The Shinyue rotary keyboard has a long 1.8 millimeter key travel, and the touchpad is larger than both the iPad Pros and the Surface Pros. Plus, it supports pressure sensitivity. The keyboard doesn't need its own power source, but there's a USB-C port on the left for 65 watt charging, so you can charge on one side and transfer data from the other. And yes, you can rest your stylus right here without worrying about it sliding off. The cleverest part is how Huawei built the connectors directly into the aluminum bracket. This lets you adjust the angle anywhere from 85 degrees all the way to 175 degrees, almost completely flat. This is totally different from Apple's floating keyboard, which only allows a tiny range of adjustment. And while Apple's Sofix Pro can pop off with a single tug, the MatePad Edge grips firmly. The magnetic hold is seriously strong. Once you switch to PC mode, the interface shifts to a desktop-style layout. The icons get smaller because mouse and keyboard become the primary controls, and everything operates exactly the way Harmony OS is designed to. Apps built for productivity work incredibly well. WPS looks just like the PC version. Zhongwang CAD Personal Edition handles design drawings smoothly, switching modes, zooming, selecting, inserting shapes, all smooth and responsive. You can enter commands exactly like you would on a PC. CAJ Reader also mirrors the PC version, complete with highlighting, underlining, and annotations. The sidebar lets you jump straight into research papers, and the AI assistant can open a browser, help search for information, generate mind maps with one click, and even offers tools like a photo editor with control T transformations, resizing, background fills, and shape creation, all fluid and intuitive. There's also Wande Finance, the essential software for financial analysts, which itself costs around 100,000 RMB a year. You get Shimo Docs, EV Screen Recorder, Shunlei Video, printer apps, plugins, 
basically all the core tools people use for work. And since Harmony OS supports both mobile apps and desktop style apps simultaneously, you can still run TikTok, Taobao, or Didi, even while in PC mode. After booking a ride, you'll still see the location message pop up. And PC mode apps like WPS and Zhongwang CAD also work in tablet mode, so everything stays connected across both worlds. To test data continuity, I created a Word document in PC mode, typed a few lines, saved it, then switched to tablet mode. The file was right there in the document manager and the contents were identical. I added some text, copied it, then dragged a video from the hard drive to the desktop. Switching back to PC mode, there it was and pasting the copied text into DingTalk worked perfectly. The data syncs seamlessly between modes. I downloaded Lark in tablet mode, logged in, then switched to PC mode and opened Lark again. The app data stayed synced too. Even peripherals like the mouse remain connected after switching. Now, how about performance? In Genshin Impact, the MatePad Edge averages 59.8 FPS, pretty much a full frame experience. The back stays at 34.9 degrees Celsius. That's impressively cool for such a demanding game. In PC mode, exporting a three minute video with the Silhouette Pro version at 4K 60 FPS, the MatePad Edge finishes slightly faster than the Snapdragon X Elite powered Surface Pro. Opening a massive PPT file shows the difference too. Huawei loads it completely while the Surface Pro is still chugging along. In a one hour engineering video playback test, the MatePad Edge drained 15% battery with temperatures at 37.9 degrees in front and 34.4 degrees Celsius in back. The Surface Pro lost 20 21% and temperatures hit almost 40 degrees Celsius on both sides. So what makes the MatePad Edge so powerful and so cool under pressure? First, it has dual fans and a large intake vent. The top band is the exhaust, giving it a completely different thermal design from the surface. Add a huge vapor chamber and micro pump liquid cooling and the result is simple. No matter how long you use it, the parts you touch stay cool. The liquid cooled model can even reach a peak performance output of 28 watts. That means Huawei has solved the two biggest problems two-in-ones have always struggled with, weak performance and poor battery life. That's why I think the MatePad Edge is perfect for people who want computer level convenience in a more portable form. For anyone who works on the go, travels often, or feels laptops are bulky, this fits perfectly. It's ideal for handling quick work tasks. And for anyone who has always wished tablets could do more, Harmony OS finally gives a real answer to, is this a true two-in-one? Microsoft started experimenting with two-in-one devices 13 years ago, but today it all comes down to one question. Who actually uses a Surface as a tablet? Most people use it as a laptop, but its performance, storage, and battery life lag behind. The tablet mode really only changes the look. It doesn't behave like a tablet at all. As a result, neither mode feels fully usable. And as the world's biggest software company, Microsoft's real challenge in two-in-ones remains the software ecosystem. Still credit where it's due. Their persistence deserves respect. But Huawei's MatePad Edge almost completely fixes all the long-standing weaknesses of two-in-one devices. It's thin, light, works beautifully as a tablet, handles office tasks like a computer, and even offers strong performance and battery life. Huawei has achieved what the Surface always aimed for. One device, two modes, three forms, all sharing a single consistent experience. That's the dream Microsoft chased, but never fully reached. And at its core, the real breakthrough is self-developed, self-controlled software. Harmony OS makes it possible for tablet and PC ecosystems to merge, share data, and behave consistently across modes. This is the Harmony OS mobile ecosystem and the Harmony OS computer ecosystem coming together. And that's why I believe this Harmony OS 2-in-1 is the first truly complete 2-in-1. See you in the next video.